Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a 25 minute full body workout using one dumbbell. Today I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell, but please use whatever you have available to you at home and whatever suits your strength levels. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are going to start off on the ground. Today we are working in two circuits of six exercises. First up, holding the dumbbell above your head, you're gonna do a single leg glute bridge, right leg is lifted. You're gonna press the hips up, then keeping a slight bend in the elbows, dropping the dumbbell above your head, bring it back up and lower. So we're keeping those hips pressed all the way up in that bridge as we drop the arms, controlling using our core. Really use those lats to bring the dumbbell back above your head, shoulders pressed down the back. Good, we're gonna take a 15 second rest down here. We are going to do the other leg next. Here we go, shoulders down, lift those hips all the way up, press into your right heel, dropping the arms, keeping the lower body where it is. Nice job, 15 second rest. We're gonna stand it up. Your third exercise, this is exercise number three. You're going to do a squat, holding the dumbbell like so. As we come up from our squat, we're gonna press the dumbbell above our heads, keeping a slight bend in our elbows. So down and up. Make sure you're coming all the way down in your squat. Good. Next exercise. Holding the dumbbell in the same way, we are going to do a side lunge on the right leg. So you're gonna come down, keeping the chest lifted. And then as you come up, dumbbell comes up for a curl and foot comes to your knee. You can either place the foot on the ground or bring it up to your knee. Placing the foot on the ground will make it a little bit easier. So really push the ground away it into your heel. Good, 15 second rest, we're gonna do the same thing on the left leg. Here we go, left side. Make sure when you're coming down into this lunge, you're sitting back into your heel, not too far forward on the toe. 
keep your chest lifted even though you're dropping that dumbbell down. Good, last exercise of this circuit is gonna be 30 seconds on each side, no rest in between. Dumbbells in the right arm and it comes up. Left leg is out, you're gonna bring everything to meet in the center and back out. So we're really focusing on our core here. Really think of this movement as a crunch, so exhale as you bring everything together. Getting ready to switch to the left side. Good. All right, we're taking a 30 second rest. That is circuit number one. We're going to do circuit number one once again before we move on to circuit two. So starting off with our single leg glute bridges down here on the ground. Here we go, dumbbells above head. Right leg is lifted, sitting into your left heel. This exercise is all about control. Keep those hips lifted. Good, taking a 15 second rest down here. We're gonna switch legs. Nice job. Standing up next is our squat to our shoulder press using the dumbbell. Keep your chest lifted. Make sure you're not stretching the legs all the way at the top and hinging the hips forward. Keep a slight bend in your knees and squeeze those glutes. Mm -hmm. 
Nice work. Next up are our side lunges. So yes, we are putting a big focus on our lower body in this exercise, but don't forget about your arms. Make sure when you're doing this curl, your elbows stay locked to your sides. And make sure you're hitting this lunge position before you press off. Even if that means you have to hold and hold, find your balance. job 15 second rest we're gonna do the left side here we go Nice job. Last minute of this circuit, our opposite arm to knee crunch. Now's the time to really focus on your breathing. Try and slow it down and really focus on that crunch. Good, left side. All right, we are going to come down to the ground. We are starting off circuit number two, giving ourselves a little bit of a breather and focusing on our arms. We're gonna do right side for 45 seconds, take a 15 second rest and then do the left. You're going to have the dumbbell in your right arm, bring it up for a back row, extend, bring it in and lower. Nice and simple, focus on using that core, leading with our elbow. giving ourselves a 15 second rest, and then we'll do the left side. Make sure when you've done your back row, this elbow stays exactly where it is. You're squeezing that back, and then you're just extending the lower half of the arm. Keep it there, and then lower. Here we go, left side.
Good, we're gonna come down on our backs, holding that dumbbell. Legs are gonna be straight up in the air. You're gonna do a crunch. Then from here, holding that crunch position, dropping those legs, bringing them back up, and then lower down. Crunch, drop. Keeping that back glued to the floor. If you need to modify, you can bend the legs and tap the heels to the floor, bring them back up and lower. All right, standing up. This last bit of this circuit's all gonna focus on the legs. Holding the dumbbell like so. Coming down for a squat, keeping your chest lifted as you come up. Dumbbell comes up above head, keeping a slight bend in your elbows. So focus on your core here, really control that dumbbell using that core. Good. Next exercise, we're gonna do an alternating curtsy lunge. So, start the dumbbell off in your left hand. You're gonna step with your right foot, left leg comes behind, lunge, back through center, pass that dumbbell off to the right hand, step to the other side. Really press through your supporting heel. Think about pressing the ground away with that heel. Good. All right, last exercise, same thing like circuit number one. Two 30 second intervals with no rest in between. You're gonna do a dumbbell snatch from a lunge. Dumbbells in my right hand, I'm lunging on my left, and I bring it up using that core. Drop it down and bring it up. Getting ready to switch sides. Nice job. That's circuit number two. We're gonna do that all again, and that will be our final round. So come on down to the ground. <sighs> Getting ready to do our back row to tricep extension using our right arm. Try to slow down your breathing here.
take these nice and slow. Don't forget about your core. Your back should be straight. Elbow should be tucked to your side. Good, 15 second rest, and we'll do the left side. Here we go, left arm. Try to extend that arm directly behind you versus out to the side. Good, coming on our backs for some abs. Legs are up, dumbbell is above your head. So we're crunching, lifting the shoulder blades up. Neck is long, hold, drop the legs, keep the back press to the floor, and lower. Good. Standing up, we are almost there, guys. We are doing our squat with the dumbbell coming up above your head. Here we go. Try not to use momentum. Like don't swing your body to get the dumbbell up. You want to use that core and just control. Press through those legs to make it an explosive movement and use that core to control the dumbbell. Next is our alternating curtsy lunges. So starting the dumbbell off in the left hand, stepping with the right, left leg comes back. Good, last minute of this workout, doing our lunge to dumbbell snatch. Again, we're really focusing on our core here and make sure from this position, you're controlling this dumbbell 
coming down into your lunge. Good, other side. And that is it guys. Great job, I hope you enjoyed this full body workout using one dumbbell. If you did, you wanna see more like this, give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you guys very soon, bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.